Look at that. There's a lot of shrooms. It's uh, dry for now, but windy. I'm going to walk out to the village. Left Tyson at home with the missus. So yeah, uh, clocks went back last night, an hour. So I'm expecting it to get dark at about, well, just before 5 p.m. Sun will go down at like 4.40, something like that. So hopefully I should make it to the village before it gets dark. Freshly ploughed field. I'm gonna walk around the outskirts of it so I'm not you know ruining the farmer's good work. How much uh, how how brilliant would this field be if it was snow enough for sledging? That'd be epic, wouldn't it? Like a little ski slope. What? So glad I moved off them floodplains when I did, because they're all flooded. That's what happens. It's all the rain we had last night and the night before. It's just uh, got a bit out of control now. Look at that. It's in my fire pit. <laughs> the ring of stones. <laughs> it's like the only chunk of island that's dry. Crazy. Uh, so, expecting a lot more rain tonight, all day tomorrow, and probably Monday night as well. So, when I come back, this will probably uh, double in size. It's fairly muddy now, eh? Heading up a farmer's track, through that farm and onto the main roads. I'll be on the main roads the rest of the way, hopefully. It's uh, pretty muddy. I'm not doing too bad. The sun's getting low in the sky, but not be long until it's gone. Through the farm, I'm on another dirt track. And definitely the main road. Just keep on finding detours that's keeping us off the main roads, you know what I'm saying? Just got to the woodland. Just got to get to the village now. All the leaves are going now. Well, I've just arrived at the village. I'm sorting out my bed straight away. It's, it's, uh, yeah, sun has gone down. I'm just, uh, yeah, getting set up. Five thirty PM, and it is, well, yeah, it's dark. Oh, there's a moon there, Tim. That's 
my bed set up. All grand. I'm going to get to work. There's some warmth in this place. See my breath in the air. <laughs> For the north. Ooh, it's raining now. I knew it was going to rain. <laughs> it's... I imagine that river's getting a bit more swollen. It's raining. It's always raining in Carlisle. <laughs> well, we're not really in Carlisle, but you know what I mean. Morning all. Oh. Mm. Oh, I slept real good. It's still raining now. I don't know if you can hear it or not. I'm going to get up and get some brain juice on the go. See, as soon as I get the jet boil on for coffee, it stops raining. Brilliant. That's what we want. Like five minutes and it's just started again. Mental. <laughs> Made a couple of Nutrigrain bars for breakfast. This log for about 15 minutes now. Got my spade stuck in it, and now I've just put this long bit of wood in it with the wedge on it and hope that I can just drive it right through the center of it. It's got knots on either side, so I'm assuming that's why it's not splitting very easy. But it's quite big, and my axe is small, so I'm just going to keep on pounding this bit of wood in until it splits. It's going, it's going. I still can't get my spade out of it. Yes. God, it's not bending that.
Where are you? Again. <laughs> I hope it stops by the time I head home tomorrow. Well, that underpass is... That underpass is going to be flooded, eh? Bet you. Be wading through water waist deep. Because it was just a spur of the moment camp. Brought a couple of pot noodles with us, some rolls, some bacon for breakfast. So yeah, not special. Just uh, enjoying the fire and the sound of the rain on the on the roof. He's torrential. <laughs> I need to get out for more wood. <laughs> the fire's getting puny. Well, guys, that's it all closed up again. It's nice. Uh, Chill time, good checking on everything, make sure it's okay and that. Big thanks for watching and we'll catch you all again soon. So just uh, heading home after that and I thought I'd stop by the waterfall and just have a little check, see how high the water is. And you can see it's quite high, it's over the dam side at the far side, there's a heron there. Awesome.